Thank you so much, Sierra. Good morning, Board of Commissioners and the citizens of Douglas County. Welcome to our Tuesday, August 24th special call meeting for the purpose of the Miller's rate discussion. Uh, I will call this meeting again and I'll start, uh, before I start the meeting, I would certainly like to call roll call just to verify your presence for the record. Uh, District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III, I understand, uh, he will be joining us momentarily. District 2 Commissioner. Kelly Robinson is present. All right, District 3. Serena present. Carter. Okay, District 4. And present. Jones Guider. Present. And Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairman, present. All right, we will jump right into it. Board of Commissioners at your pleasure, Vice Chairman at your pleasure as well, uh, Commissioner Robinson. Uh, we will start. The public hearing, of course, we would like before uh, we have the public hearing, before I open the public hearing, I would like for Roslyn uh, to come forth. Roslyn Miller, are you here on the line, our finance, acting finance director? Yes, good morning, Chair. Good, good morning. You have the floor. I certainly would like for you to present to the Board of Commissioners uh, before I open it up, uh, open up this public hearing for our citizens of Douglas County. Okay. Well, um, as you mentioned, we're here for um, the proposed millage rate. I'm here to present the proposed millage rate for the 2021 tax year. And if we can start the, the slide. Okay, next slide. Okay, I would like to start here because the um, next few um, slides you'll see a lot of dollars and points. So the millage rate is a tax rate. It's the cost um, to run the government. Um, so we take that tax rate, which is the cost to run the government, and we um, multiply that by your taxable property. Um, the millage rate is usually stated as dollars per thousand. So for example, um, five mils is $5 per thousand of the assessed value. And for the calculation purposes, you're going to see 0 0.005 and um, 0 0.0112. So you'll see it in that um, way, but just remember it's um, the mill is $5. If it's five um, mills, it's $5 per um, thousand. And also, the, um, again, the tax rate, we're on a calendar year. Douglas County is on a um, calendar year. So this um, proposed millage rate is to fund 2021's um, budget. And the increase, the proposed increase will provide funding for the county, provide services such as the public safety, public works, public um, health, parks and recreation, judicial, and the growth and economic um, development. Next slide. And as you um, may know that um, the millage rate is established by the Board of Commissioners. Um, also, you'll hear in the next few slides a rollback, a rollback rate. And the rollback rate is the millage rate that would raise the same amount of revenue as, the, as last year if applied to the current value of the property that was on the last year's um, digest. And again, it's on the revenue that was received last year, not the expense um, expenses, the revenue. So just keep that in mind. Next slide. So um, as you see, you have we have three um, rates. First is um, the rollback rate, and again, that is the rate that will receive the same amount of revenue as last year. And last year's property tax revenue was about seven, uh, $57 million. And then we have our regular recurring revenue at $45 million. 
So a total of 102, 100 and, um, 102 million, 102 million dollars of recurring revenue. And two weeks ago, um, the chief financial um, advisor, David Corbin, um, had a few numbers and um, for you guys to um, look at and remember. And one was uh, $104 million. And that's what we're estimating 2021's budget will um, be based off of trending. Again, um, it looks like 2021's budget is trending to be $104 million. And again, the rollback rate, including property tax and recurring, um, the total would be 102. And that's for the rollback. Now for the current millage rate um, at 12.5630, um, property tax revenue would be 59 million. And again, regular recurring is 45. So that would total 104. So the current millage rate we're estimating will balance the 2021's um, budget without using fund balance to um, but, um, balance the budget. Now the recommended millage rate will generate 64 million in revenue. And again, plus the 45 million of regular recurring would be a total of 109, $109 million in revenue generated. Next slide, please. So this is just um, comparing um, the taxes and this is just based off of a uh, basic homestead property at $160,000. For the first column, we see the rollback rate. And this is for county portion only. This is the county's um, bill only. So the county property tax, if the rollback is used, your um, the bill would be $773.70. And then if the current rate is, which is um, 12.563, if the current rate is adopted, the current millage rate adopted, your tax bill off of a $160,000 home would be $804.03, $804.03. And if you compare it with the rollback, that is an increase of $30.34. And that is an annual number. So it'd be about $3 per month. If you look at the proposed rate of 13.563, your tax, your um, county property tax bill would be $868.03. And if you compare it with the rollback rate, it would be an increase of $94.34. And again, that's an annual variance. And if you look at it monthly, it'll be about $8 um, per month. Next slide. So with um, where the money goes, so once we receive the money, once the millage rate is adopted and we receive um, the revenue, we have 30, 36% um, is going to public safety. And we have 18% of revenue is going to judicial. And we have 27% going to general government. And of course, um, other allocations is parks and recreation, 6%, health and welfare, that's 3%. And we have public works at 6% and planning and community development at 4%. Okay, next slide, please. This is a good, um, indication and trend of where you've been and where you're going. Now in 2016, the rollback um, rate was used. And in 2016, you use fund balance to balance the budget. In 2017, the rollback was used. 
and you use fund balance to balance the budget. In 2018, rollback rate was adopted and fund balance, you use fund balance to balance the budget. And then in 2019 is when the your millage rate was adopted as um, the same as the prior year and um, 2 million was actually went into fund balance. And then the same for 2020. And if the proposed millage rate is adopted 2021, you will also have um, money going into fund balance. You will not be using fund balance to balance the budget. Next slide, please. So this is um, next steps. As you see today, um, we're at our first, um, the public hearing at 10 a.m. We do have another um, virtual um, public hearing. It will be our second one at 6 p.m. And then on the 31st will be the third public hearing at 10 a.m. And then also August the 31st, the millage rate will be adopted. 492-0395. Next slide. And if you have any questions, I will stand by. Thank you so much, Rosalyn Miller. Our Board of Commissioners, certainly before I move towards opening this public he hearing, are there any questions? Okay. okay. For the public person in here. Yes. Okay. Um, clerk, I just want to make sure you're on standby as I begin to open this public hearing. Uh, citizens of Douglas County, you have heard Rosalind Miller present uh, the proposed uh, millage rate. Um, and this public hearing is now open. Are there any citizens here to speak in regard? to the proposed millage rate. Uh, and I will be allowing five minutes today instead of three minutes for our citizens to elaborate. Uh, I, re I will request when you come uh, online, you please state your name and address for the record before begin beginning to speak. And certainly when you hear the buzzer, and I know our clerk will be keeping managing the time. So when you hear the buzzer, I ask that you wrap up your thoughts and, and, and end your uh, comments. Clerk, uh, if you could uh, take it from here and just uh, call the first uh, citizen who has signed up for pub this public hearing. Hi, uh, yes, ma'am. We had one. <clears throat> I'm sorry. We had one citizen register to speak this morning, uh, Miss Bundy Cobb. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't see her on the line, but I want to reach out. Miss Cobb, are you on the line? I don't see Miss. I don't hear Miss Cobb. So, um, but I would like to say, if you are muted and you called in, if you hit star six, it will unmute your phone. Um, <clears throat> so, are there any other citizens that would like to speak this morning? Can you hear me? Yes. We can. Yeah. Ms. Oh, Bastel, if you could go ahead. And, okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. go ahead. If you could repeat your name and give your address, please, and mm -hmm. then you can start. Okay. This is Sharon Bastel, 6331 South Skyline Drive, Douglasville. I wasn't going to speak this morning. I just wanted to listen. Um, yesterday, I had called the commission's office to find out Specifically, why do you want more money? Why do you want to raise it? Specifically, what is that money going to be used for? And I don't want generalities like public safety and all that. I want to know what economic development, what, uh, where's that money going to go? And I'm hoping it's not into the pockets of some politician. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> and I also would like to say that I think this was this public hearing is a little underhanded because the minutes for the um, 
budget retreat have not been posted yet and we don't have any proposed budget for 2022 we can look at to see where that money's going and uh, i just don't think you're giving us the citizens enough information to uh even speak about this where's the money going that's all i have to say i'll be calling in uh, at the six o'clock meeting thank you thank you miss backdoor are there any other citizens on the line that would like to speak this morning? Okay, Chairman, being none, I'll turn it back over to you. Chairman, you're on mute. Thank you. I was having a conversation by myself. I said thank you, Clerk Watson, and also thank you, Ms. Batchel, for coming in, weighing in this morning. And we look forward to your comments uh, this evening at our 6 p.m. public hearing. Um, with that being said, if there are no other uh, citizens here to make any remarks or comments re regarding this proposed millage uh, rate, this uh, public hearing is now closed. All right, with that being said, Board of Commissioners, are there any comments? Uh, Vice Chairman Robinson, you have the floor. Thank, thank you, Madam Chair. <clears throat> Greetings, citizens, and, and recognizing the annual millage rate process is a, a three-meeting process. This is the first one, tonight's the second, and then we'll make our final decision next week. So I want to set expectations that really we're just here to listen. Um, it's not necessary to go back and forth when we, um, Board of Commissioners are fully aware of that whether they choose to weigh in in the first two meetings or not, uh, it's their discretion. I think I'd like to take time out to, to, to hopefully help the citizens understand that the current millage rate that we're talking about is to set the current 2021 budget, not 2022. Let's clarify that fact. In other words, we're, we're somewhat backwards. It is what the county is, that we're setting the current budget that we're already eight months in on. We're just now applying the, the revenue support expenses that we've already been incurring. That is the way the county works, right? This has nothing to do with 2022. That process will kick off in September and a calendar will come forth and you'll be able to come at the end of the year to talk about what we plan to spend next year, right? So I, I wanna make sure that there's um, any suggested sleight of hand. It's important that we understand what I call the fundamentals, how things work. Uh, the second point is, and I, 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 I want to come back to the, um, to the administration, is that, yes, that strategic plan, um, or at least the meeting minutes from that retreat, should be released. Right? And, and if it has been, I duly know that maybe it's not really, like, I, I, I would agree with just that point. Because, again, we didn't record that retreat, though it was open to the public. It was too important of major decisions, which is why I made my point last week. Like, we, we did a huge reorganization. We did a lot of stuff that, that, that legitimately, but it was something you could be proud of. But I know sometimes we pause, but they need to know that. They need to know the momentum when we took all that feedback from the strategic plan that, that, that why we're doing what we're doing. And we're standing here hoping that they can figure out what we just did. And I, I, I used to, that used to bother me in the prior administration is that just tell the people, just tell them, let them in on it. So, so for that, I, I, I agree with the public comment, right? So, so they, they could just, just, just walk with them. It's not the fear. Uh, and so I'm going to bring it to my last point. Um, and I got to ask this question. Um, I, I appreciate Rosalyn Miller um, and stepping in now and um, helping us um, frame the new military conversation. And I appreciate the categories that she broke down. So Rosalyn, bring back up your screen one more time, please, can you, uh, regarding the, 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 the dispersion against public safety, economic development, general government, bring up that slide again, please. Madam Chair, may I ask, can she bring it up, Madam Chair, please? I think it's slide Absolutely. six. Slide, slide six, please. Is 
slicing. Is it up? No, I don't see it. Well, can you speak to it while they work on it? Can you just run down? We'll, we'll be sensitive to people's time. So you started with public safety, then you work yeah. down the list. Okay. Probably, and do you want the, um, Commissioner, do you want the percentages? or Yes, just... please. Cap, yes, oh. yes ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Public safety is at 36%. We have judicial at 18%. We have general government at 27%. We have parks and recreation at 6%. We have health and welfare at 3%. We have public works at 6%. We have planning and community development at 4%. Got it. All right, so let me do the best I can. Th thank you, Ross, and to educate the people. Um, this is not a SPLOS conversation, what we want to call capital expenditure. This is your operating budget, which is pretty, pretty thin. And so this is the general, you know, your tax, your property taxes and, and other revenues equals a certain amount. Right. And so this is where basically you pay salaries. Stay with me. Right. So, you know, over the past five years, and I won't go back over that. We, we, we know the story from last year. We rolled back about nine million dollars over a five year period of time. Right. And so we had to raise the most rate to both make up that as well as deal with a pandemic last year. Those are the facts. We're down 15 million. We've now balanced that out. Those are the facts. We've, we've matured financially to understand the implications of our decisions, that they need to be steady, they need to be thoughtful, and you need to know what your priorities are. We've heard over time that, um, and we did a recent part of the strategic planning process, and I know that we, um, the county administrator and her team are going to present the final results of that next week. But this is the point that we need to be sharing along the way what I call breadcrumbs so that when they get to that meeting, they break this out, that they have some context that they're not scrambling in the moment. That's why I'm taking courtesy right now. Like, okay, guys, do y'all know what we just did? That we recalibrated, we re restructured the whole county? That's important. But it was based on input from the citizens, not because we derived from the top down, it's that no, we engage the citizens. But that's what I'm saying, you, you, the administration, tell them, share with them, you know, be, be open to different divergent opinions, but nonetheless, no, just, just be honest. I'm almost finished. So as we go through this, you look at the list of priorities, one of the things I heard, and there's no uh, specific order, but we heard from the citizens as far as what our priority were at a county was public safety, economic development, which makes sense, um, health, uh, followed by transportation and, and, and what I want to call parks and rec. Right? So, so we get it. So public safety is important. So we're going to come back to my, my thing. Well, how do you address public safety in a military conversation? Well, that's not a conversation talking about tie holes in cars. That's a SPLOS conversation. That's about compensation. Uh-huh. Our current budget only allows us to, to do what we're doing currently. I guess the current proposed military rate Independent of the extra meal that's on there for economic development, I'm going to separate the two. Like you got about, what, a million eight to work with. If I give everybody a 1% raise, that's a million bucks. I need y'all to do the math. I give you the current cost of living, that's a million and a half. So the new growth plus inflation allows me to give everybody a 1.5% raise in the current budget. Period. What about four hundred thousand dollars left over for some you know, extra? The extra one mil that was on here was regarding economic development because that's something that the citizens asked for. We want what's called we we can take money, um, obviously out, out you know using the military to fund certain economic development projects. See, the problem is is that I don't disagree with the citizens because we're we're making decisions in the moment while you're planning. Like gosh, y'all know y'all sitting here to put y'all got a list for this ARPA money to build out this courthouse. Well, what does that mean? That means that we're going to have to move, meaning the Board of Commissioners. Well, when are y'all going to tell the citizens this? See, you put us in an awkward place, right? So we have to take the hits for the, for the narrative, which I'm willing to do. 
right? Because at some point it's all going to come out. That's why I'm saying, give me a single view of everything so we can share with the citizens. Just tell them the truth. We know that we got to take care of them judicials, them judges. We know we got to take care of the sheriff and them constitutional officers, right? We, we know that people need to be compensated for their efforts. That's important. All right, so you got your base budget. Okay, I can deal with pay. And then you now you got this economic one mil. Now you got a couple more meetings to simmer on this. So you ain't got to get all this right now. I'm just planting a seed. I'm, I'm pointing to what you need to pay attention to. I'm getting right at it. You got about a million eight that you can deal with salaries and however the board administration is going to do. And then you got an extra, you know, five million per year over 30 years, give or take, if we want to pledge something to some type of economic development. Uh, that needs to be shared about what our intentions are. I don't disagree. Right? But that was to the public done in a very, very, very well done public retreat. That retreat was one of the best retreats I've been in 13 years. I mean, they, the administration brought their A-game. They had consults, and it's like, oh, God, no, we didn't record this. You even got pictures of this meeting. We were here for two days, and we, like, nobody knows. Now, it was open to the public, and it was in a brand-new senior, senior service building, but I, I got to say what I got to say because it was it was healthy. It was positive. I mean, no, it was animated. Don't get it wrong. We, we went at it, which we should. But the public has no context, and it was some good work public. Don't get me wrong. And it should have been that because it was so comprehensive. And I appreciate that those that were there um, advising and helping with this process. Right? So, so legitimate, no, there's no okie doke. It, it, you know me, I'm, I'm going to be direct and, you know, put it out there. It, 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 because that's, that's not my nature. Right? Now, I just think that right here, it's like, oh, gosh, y'all, y'all are supposed to be proactive on this, not being reactive and being, you, you're supposed to be preemptive versus just sort of, you know, like, God, guys, y'all had a great chance to set the proper narrative. And we're, we're doing like, oh, we're, we're, we're trying to sneak along the wall. And it's like, okay, come on, guys, be proud, be, be definitive. This is where you want to go tell them. Or at least get their feedback. Now, as it relates to the economic development, um, you know, one mil, that is the conversation that we had. We, we There are differences on should we use the millage rate to fund economic development projects versus something else. And it's hard to talk about this because, again, you don't have any context for what we're going to use it for. Now, I could get into it, but I'm just not going to carry that solely by myself. But I think it's something that the Economic Development Authority, Madam Chair, somebody needs to be here, not the board. We don't have to advocate for the need. The need was presented to the board during the retreat that was open to the public. But I'm not going to carry this right now, Madam Chair. Everybody got to get in the ring when they want something. So, Madam Chair, I would say that between the next meeting and the final meeting, that, that that consideration somebody from the development authority should be here to speak to that additional mill not to everything else that you already have properly done and that's all i gotta say madam chair i yield back thank you ma'am all right thank you so much Vice chairman robinson any other remarks from the board comments yes ma'am okay commissioner Kyder, you have the floor thank you uh i'm glad um uh, uh, commissioner robinson explained the one mill increase um, Rosalind, um, <clears throat> how much money would leaving the millage rate at the same rate as last year bring in? Um, like two and a half million, something like that? That is correct. Okay. How much do we have in the fund balance right now? Un unassigned fund balance. Okay. Well, we don't we don't know that because we have to use all that before we uh, tap into the tans that we floated, right? Right, but we can look at last year. You know how we ended. Um, the total fund balance was thirty six point three million, and twenty one point eight was unassigned. So we had a healthy fund balance last year. That so. is correct. Okay. Now, one mil will bring in 5.1 million, is that right? That is correct. And uh, the one mil that um, Commissioner Robinson was uh, referring to is directed toward the Development Authority, but it's not just for one year. Uh, I think I heard someone say it could go for 30 years, I'm talking about $85 million over a 30 million 
Is that correct? Did I understand that correctly? Yeah, that I'm not um, aware of. Okay. I, mean, I, did, I didn't. I've got just sketchy notes because everything went very, very fast. I too would like to uh, say that it sh the uh, whole two days should have been uh, filmed. And I don't know why we did not do that. Uh, I think people expect things to be filmed with the pandemic and we're not even at the courthouse today. We're, we're online because of the uptick of positive tests. So uh, I'm just wondering why we did not do that. And uh, because there was a lot of uh, discussion on a whole lot of things, I think uh, I for one thought too much was put into one meeting because we, we're also going to be talking about the American Rescue, the 14 million that's coming down from the, that we've already received, I think, from the federal government. And a lot of that, uh, that, there needs to be a lot more discussion where that money goes. Because <laughs> uh, I think uh, several of us disagreed. <coughs> but um, <clears throat> with, the <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> but with the pie that you showed, I think it's very disappointing that public works <coughs> And I assume that's roads and rep roads and things like that. Uh, yes, um, public works is transportation, the administration, uh, maintenance costs, um, trans um, traffic operation, and fleet. Yeah, <clears throat> and we get most of uh, some of the money down from the state, and we take the um, matching money from Splash. <laughs> so it's really uh, a whole lot of it's not coming out of the general fund. I'm disappointed that we don't spend more money on public, public works. And um, now public safety that we were talking about, that includes both the sheriff's office, which is protection, and then the fire department. So those are the two, I think they're the two largest departments in the county, there's no wonder it's a third of the budget. So, um, but I would like to see us uh, uh, in the future spend more money on public works uh, than 6%. And um, was it 6%? Am I right? Um, public works. Yes. Yeah. You are correct. It is 6%. But uh, with the Development Authority, we've got to remind ourselves that we give large abatements to a lot of the companies that come in here, too. And that comes out of the pockets of the citizens. So with all that, I will yield back. Thank you. Thank you so much, Commissioner Geiger. Any other remarks from the board? Okay. Being no remarks. Vice Chairman Robinson, you have the floor, Karen. Yes, I, I, I do want to, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. I want to acknowledge um, Commissioner Geyer's um, point that, yeah, it was $85 million that potentially it can generate from economic development that you did here, right, that your, your notes are accurate. Earlier this year, uh, right before the county administrator, the current county administrator came on board, the board um, did what we call that BIR process where we acknowledged that we amended the budget based on the end of the year, right? That we had a, we came in up under, so we amended our budget. This time we're amending the budget based on revenue that actually came in. So it's two amendments that happened in one year. Again, understand the fundamentals. But I'm going to go back to that BR conversation where the board agreed as a condition of that vote to adopt that, that whole process. And it's the will of the board collectively. They didn't have to be unanimous was that we would pursue what public safety economic development transportation and parks and rec slash library and in that was an 85 million dollar commitment and i codified that and made it spoken all right look at the numbers so here we are four months later 
This is not new. This is why it's important. I know people don't like the way I do it, but it's the best way to do it. I lay these breadcrumbs. Then nobody can say, well, I didn't know nothing about it. Yeah, you might have missed that moment. You might have missed that word I said. But we committed to this. We committed to the sheriff, in essence, with cause. And so how we get there doesn't, I mean, we're talking about the priorities and public input. And out of that decision, when the county administrator came on, that was her first meeting. And then we went into this four to six week strategic planning. It looks like the input from citizens a long way lined up those same priorities that we were already embracing. Right. And I don't disagree with, with Madam um, Guider's point regarding, yes, you got you got the SPLOS, you got art money, and you got your annual taxes. Those are the three primary sources of revenues. We've got input from the citizens regarding what the priorities were. So we're not out of sync. That's important to hear. Like, no, at least I listen to my citizens. I know everybody else does too. And staff good, did a pretty good job of aggregating what the citizens thought, uh, our employees thought, and as well getting some degree of of, of, of thoughts from the board of commissioners who will ultimately make the final decision. So I don't want this to be seen as a okie doke. It's really not. It's, it's one of those like, yeah, okay, it's a, it's an A, but not an A plus. In other words, like, well, okay, yes, you got an A because it was an excellent meeting, but to Madam Guy's point, you guys even capture pictures. And so that that's our own. We have to just take it like, no, you're right. So Madam Guy, you were right. It just like that was that was a lot of work that was a lot of effort and I I know but it's, it was nothing to fear right you were do, you were being intentional and you were being strategic and and that's how you build trust with citizens that don't talk to them that's why I get out how I get out I listen to them I should think this is exactly what's going on all right so I think I'm sure where we are right now is again uh, I think you know you, at least I know I'm not certain if uh, other peers are on but I know we've got at least three of us. I think there's an understanding that if you'll be so kind, I'm sure ensure that our economic development um, uh, representative can be here. If not at this one, at least the last meeting where we have to actually make a decision because again, it's because of their consideration, that's what's driving that additional um, meal. Not necessarily to just tax for operations. It's dedicated to economic development because you, the citizen said that was a priority. All right, so let's let's make sure where, where this is coming from. This is not us imposing upon the citizens, it's us responding to input. So Madam Chair, that's all. I just want to clarify and acknowledge my peers' comments. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Vice Chairman Robinson, and thank you so much, Commissioner Guider, for your comments and remarks. Uh, any other comment for uh, before we break for recess? Okay. Well, if there's nothing else or any other remarks uh, regarding this uh, proposed uh, Village rate and certainly this public hearing. At this time, we will uh, go into recess, Board of Commissioners, and we will return at 6 p.m. today. Uh, I certainly it will be virtually again. So, all right, if there's nothing else at this time, uh, we are now in recess. Yes, ma'am. Uh, thank you. <laughs>